this is funny again. Um, I just finished uploading, the, working on uh, converting the video and uploading the last one I did on Katie. And whoa, surprise! Katie wrote me another email. She's stalking me again. And <clears throat> she goes, yet another one. Thank you, silly girl. You need to see the difference between free speech and your spewing of opinionated hate talk. Jeez, Katie, are you, you know, is you, you know, the freedom of speech is you're allowed the only one to have the speech nobody else is entitled to you're looking extremely hateful but you should have the freedom of speech to hate me but i'm not allowed to have the speed freedom of speech to talk about my experience and question is this loving or is this hateful and just ask the question if you fear truth and you do. No, I don't fear truth at all. I'm not in fear at all. You're the one in fear since you use the word fear all the time. I have no fear, as you can probably tell. Um, she goes on, you will always fear beings like me who choose to walk in truth, not perpetuate the lies you do. Come to think of it, you'd make a perfect lawyer. Truth is why they fear me as well and why I'd never lower myself to their level. Keep your, you up the rants they will be flagged. Good news, you make money on every click on your channel, right? Well, for now anyways, YouTube doesn't like when their partners can't stay within community guidelines, Kate. P.S. Keep up the stalking. Your ego and hate is consuming you. Such is universal law. Well, you know what? YouTube asked me to be a partner when my whole freaking channel is talking about my truth, which is pointing the finger at... Hey, do you think bankers are a little right or a little wrong? But if we say bankers are doing something wrong, oh, that's hateful. You know, you shouldn't have any freedom of speech to ever call out a banker. You know, Wall Street, a politician, you're never allowed to, you know, question their behavior. You know, a free man, you're never allowed to question the behaviors of a free man. You know, question, you never ever question the behaviors of a light worker. You know, like, what's the difference between light workers free man a politician and a banker because i ain't seeing the difference they all want you to shut up if you point the finger at saying kind of question this behavior like i mean she's going on and on about stalking i haven't emailed her i stopped emailing her she's replying to me i just put up a video boom another email from katie this girl is definitely stalking me and to be flagging my videos like she is is stalking so please anybody that is standing up for the freedom of speech anybody who is enjoying my channel um can we flag her channel as harassing and stalking and being very abusive and trying to attempt to take my freedom of speech and if youtube made me a partner because i've been doing this all along maybe they're in agreement that they support what it is that I'm doing. Otherwise, they wouldn't have come to me and asked me to be the partner. I didn't apply for the thing. They came to me and asked me to be a partner. So you know what? I don't even give a shit whether I'm a partner or not. I don't even give a shit whether I make any money off of this. That's why I have no fear. You could take it away and it doesn't make any difference to me. I didn't work to try and earn a buck you know, trying to fit within, you know, a, a criminal mindset so I can get greedy and earn a buck. No, what I'm doing is trying to talk about truth. <laughs> my truth, yes, your truth is completely different than my truth. And that's what I think we need to have the conversation about because you seem to be at war with something. You know, I'm just sort of saying, you're talking about free man, yet a woman, I mean, at the end of the day, while we're having this conversation there, my mother is in the hands of an abuser and she has Alzheimer's if free man and light workers had any concern for human life would we be sitting here talking about who's right or who's wrong or would we be focused on the victim that needs our help you know like that's at the end of the day what I focus on is you know, you're nothing but a lawyer. You know, you're all concerned in something that has nothing to do with anything, you know, but what you're doing is not helping victims. And yet you're claiming that you want to help victims. Oh, six nations. 
you know, like, you're going to con them like you conned me. You know, nobody is free. Everybody's still dealing with the abuse after they you've said that you were helping them. So, Katie, I think you're really losing your mind here. You know, you're the one that came to my channel saying that I have something to teach you. <laughs> when are you ready to learn? You know, because the teacher appears as soon as the student is ready. <laughs> you know, are you ready, Katie, to learn some kind of lesson? You've got nothing to teach me. You know, I haven't seen anything that you could teach me. If you want to teach me to behave the way you are behaving, I don't want to learn that lesson. You know, if this is your idea of free man, I don't think that this is free in any shape, way, shape, or form. Especially when an elderly person with Alzheimer's is dealing with abuse and there's nothing you can do to save her. So it's like you're not keeping anybody free. You are actually trying to cage me so that I don't even have the right to my freedom of speech and my own personal truth. You want to push your version of truth, which I'm kind of kind of looking a little hateful, kind of looking a little controlling, kind of looking a little insane. After all, you're the one sending me emails and you're the one stalking me. You're the one that's flagging my account. You're the, you know, you're just giving me something to talk about because that is what my channel is about. Talking about every friggin' experience I have. You know, so I'm writing a book. This chapter's in. You knew that before you engaged in any communication with me, so you knew that you would be at risk. If there is something you're doing that I found questionable, you knew, you agreed to it, so by law, you agreed to my opinion should I ever come up with an opinion about you. Otherwise, you would have been making your complaints a long time ago. So that is stalking my channel, to flag and get all your buddies to flag my channel. Um, I think that you know if anybody wants to uh, counter any of this, um, I will show um, Katie's email and uh, um, her YouTube channel and maybe file a complaint with YouTube because I am definitely being harassed by this woman. I fired her. She doesn't like being fired. I didn't want any more f further communication with her whatsoever. I have blocked her from my channel because she was spewing so much hate. And I, 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 you know, she knows that I block people that cunt, bitch, whore, you know, if you're just going to have nothing to say but criticize me, then, you know. But I gave you the courtesy of making a video and letting everybody know that you do have an opinion and your opinion is different than mine and that we should go and look at what your opinion is on your channel. So I gave you the respect to have your other opinion on your channel, just not going to post it on mine because it's too full of hate and I don't need that negative energy, like I don't need your all of your hateful emails that are coming. I don't need that. Okay, that's kind of where I, I'm on joining this Occupy because I'm sort of done with this control and manipulation and I'm not allowed to be a free person, I'm not allowed to speak my mind, I'm not allowed to question insane behavior because I think it's pretty insane. And I mean, I can't say it any clearer. Do you not think it's insane to accuse me of stalking when you're the one that's trying to post on my channel, you're the one that's sending me emails, you're the one that's flagging my account and getting as many people as possible to flag my account? To me, that's kind of looking like stalking. When I just replied to only like a few of your emails, you're calling me stalking. That is not stalking. You know, and everybody knows, everybody knows, I'm writing a book, this chapter's in. So if you want the chapter to be about you, you've just given me permission to talk about you because you are the one that agreed to engage with me while I'm writing the book. So be a little responsible for what you're putting out in the world because you're looking a little insane to me because <laughs> you can't go and accuse somebody else of stalking when you're the one that's guilty of stalking, you know. You know I'm going to talk about it, but yet you constantly give me something to talk about. If you don't want to give me something to talk about, go away. You know, like, that's what I do. Is somebody that's that freaking hateful and stuff, I, I don't care what your opinion is. You're entitled to your opinion, but I don't look at it. You know, you're not listening to my opinion, so I'm not going to listen to your opinion. It's like engaging with insanity. I have never mastered the ability to talk with insanity. I can only question it. So 
I, I don't consume my life with as much hate as you're dealing with. Um, so that's why I don't go to channels like yours or listen to any of your opinions. You know, you can put out, I, I'm fully at one with people putting hate shit on there. I have kept warning that, hey, be, be aware, this channel you'll probably hate because I'm bringing up topics that make you think. I'm going against most of everything that's wrong on the planet. The world is freaking not working. What part of the world is not working? Should we not talk about all the aspects that aren't working in our world? Or should we constantly just keep our mouths shut and our eyes shut to everything that is wrong? I think this is a time to start questioning. What does love look like? What does hate look like? What does stalking look like? What does harassment look like? You know, I'm just questioning it because maybe I'm completely wrong. But I think we need to have the discussion. And that's what my channel is about, is what do you think? So I'll post her emails and I'll post her channel and uh, counter, you know, uh, uh, YouTube and let them know that I'm being heavily attacked uh, for my freedom of speech and um, she is trying to have more of a freedom of speech and controlling my free will, my freedom of an opinion. Um, she's, she's definitely trying to control my life legally so that she can be the boss, the head of the mountain, the ego that's right. You know, she's never even opened up to, could I possibly be a little wrong here? Like, I'm willing to be a little wrong, but just kind of show me where I'm wrong. And I don't know where I'm wrong, so I'm like sharing the experience so somebody can show up and say, Judy, you're looking a little insane. So that's what I'm looking at is be nice and friendly and loving and point out where I could be insane. Because I ain't seeing it. So far the videos I posted, I haven't had anybody that says you're wrong because of this. Nobody's using any logical mind to point out where I'm going wrong, where I'm contradicting myself. I'm open. Just show me where. You can't just make an accusation and think that in some way, shape, or form your opinion is right. You, you know, give some facts like I have. Like I read out of the emails, you know, like I'm giving some hard, cold facts. You know, you want to go on Google where there's a whole pile of hateful people like you that once you come to my channel and I've wrote the chapter about what it is you're doing, you know, do you think that they didn't like it and then they go on Google and start forums and start talking about me? Like, come on, you just joined the group of hateful people. None of them are saying anything loving. None of them are saying anything truthful. Nothing is ever proven. They're all a bunch of just opinions that you want to call truth. And now you've just joined that group. You've joined the Vokter group, <laughs> Katie. <laughs> go check out who Vokter is. Dr. Ha Vokter had thousands and thousands of followers that he would harass people and start forums like this. And so I know exactly where all of that hate came from. It originated from Vokter and all of his groups and then they started getting influence. He put a little bit of energy out there. So once he put that first train out there, somebody else started looking at, you know, that second level and started believing it. And then they threw out hate. And then they seen that line of hate and believed it to be true. And then they threw out more hate. But where did it originate from? Vokter. So, Katie, you just aligned yourself up with Vokter. Go and see how abusive that man is because that man has definitely been violently abusive with a lot of YouTubers and he has lost his channel many times because of the level of abuse. So you may be losing your channel for harassing. So um, anybody that wants to flag her account for, you know, just to counter her from trying to block my channel. If she's successful at blocking my channel, I'll just start up another one. It's no big deal. I ain't tied to no money. <laughs> Peace out.